Hello everybody, I'm going to be teaching you how to make cards and cards textures in this video, so let's get started. You leave this thing here, and you want to actually search meatball in this. If you open up the menu, you can see meatball here, and you can grab the ball. So, and shift D to duplicate the balls like that, and actually you can go and make any shape you want with this thing. I'm going to make a sky looking structure with shift D of course and you can actually scale it like that or any shape you want. And is it D, G, I think it's actually forming a pretty good cloud shift D and I think I'm pretty good with this shape. Just like that. One more, I think, shift D and um, right here, actually, right here, shift D right here. Yeah, that's a pretty good looking sky cloud. And you can select the object and go to convert to match the curvy text surface and you can see that's actually forming all this mess to your clouds now you can go and hit, go ahead and add the modifier subdivision to give that surface curving and increase the viewport that's good apply it now actually you're done with the formation of the sky clouds here and you can add the disperse modifier to give the textures to it it's pretty simple. You can go and do the texture thing, add the texture, and you actually can find the texture right here. So go hit that and hit clouds. I'm going to firm the cloud texture here, and you can increase the size to make it more smoother, not much complex texture to form that sky. So I think that's pretty good. Now you can go and add any materials to it. You can go and change it right here in the shading. Sorry, in the shading um, editor. In the shading editor, you can hit go and hit uh, delete this with X, and you want to go and search for principal volume. So search for principal volume and connect the volume with the volume actually that's going to look so much better in the cycles render engine look at that that's pretty simple now you can go and play with your lighting and increase your lighting power here yeah, it's pretty good you can actually duplicate the light and there we go, you have the sky here. You can actually change the color of the sky to something white or any color you want. So go around and play with colors of your sky. You can throw in lights and light colors and sky colors in it. And yeah, play around, have fun. Thank you for tuning in. Have a great day. Bye.